and we just carry and we just keep building all night long. Let's be good here. Here we go with the opening face-off. Great to have you with us tonight in downtown Buffalo, 90s night. John Gertler, Steve. And his movement, obviously, in transition is great. There's a nice movement by Tom Schreiber straight on. But Matt Vince tonight by getting shots very close to Matt Vince. Outside the lane is Schreiber. Boom drive. He scores. Well, John, the Rock almost out of time. Solid on the defense prevented a real good attempt at a crease dive. Ball comes out to the restraining line, and Schreiber just moving from his right to left as a little bouncer. Kind of catches Vince off guard through a whole bunch of traffic. Kind of moving the wrong way Schreiber was. Oh, seven yeah. seconds left on the shot clock. Now to the near side, and here's Hellyer trying to get a lane open. Looking, squeezing it out in front. Shot score! Toronto. Good feed. And, and Hellyer's guess who? able to open him up just a little bit as he kind of starts to drive down the left side, and Ian McKay goes with him, and Challen Rogers cuts to the middle. A good attempt there to break that pass up from Justin Martin, but he just can't do it. And as we mentioned in the, the opening, Challen Rogers can finish with that ball in his stick. Right in tight there, beats Vince, 2 nothing Rock. 11th goal of the year for Challen Rogers, the captain of the Rock. Staying on to the ball, plenty of time left on the shot clock, so getting everybody sit goes to the far side. Twirling is Karen McCardle, top of the slot shot, straight on, score! Toronto, they take a 3 nothing lead, and that's Brandon Slade. Keeping sticks on hands, and then that's twice in a row now that they just lost someone out in front of the net for a split second, and Toronto is so good at exploiting uh, a small mistake like that where someone's allowed to just work their way into the slot. Slade kind of shoves off a little bit of a, a cross check, backs up, finds the ball, and before the slide can get there, he goes short side near post and beats Matt Vince. The ball out in midfield, 2 nothing, or check that, 3 nothing. Toronto at 3.45, stolen by Buffalo. Reversing the thrusters is Dane Smith, one arms the ball right in front of Nick Rose. I think fans wanted a penalty call there as Dane Smith appeared to get tied up a little bit there. Jordan Durston forced that turnover. And Dane Smith dropped. The shot clock violation gives Toronto possession the other way. End of the line is Hellier with a full head of steam. Rebound is picked up. A score! Toronto showing quick transition there. Buffalo gets called for the shot. They weren't able to get back as quickly as they could. We heard Tavares say get back or get to the bench on defense. That play was a little bit broken, and they didn't get the chance to do that. A good save by Vince on the first shot turns into a rebound right out front, and it's an easy scoop and score there for the Rock to build a 4-0 lead here in the first with 40 seconds to go. New Papa Billy Hostrauser scoring for the Rock. Give them a 4-0 lead. Fourth were, goal of the uh, season. Kill, and they can kill the full 30-second shot clock now. So diversified for the Rock. Talon Rogers, top of the slot shot. Save is Matt Vince. Just to the left side Stay and left with him. So Toronto only able to bring three players forward on that shorthanded situation. A lot of points on that side. Dane Smith with a shot. He scores! Party on, Dane! John, we mentioned the leadership of Dane Smith. They can't. It's in the first quarter, but you get a power play. Your leader, your assistant captain, your leading point scorer, Dane Smith picks the far post, gets you on the board, gets the fans into the game. That's what the Bandits need from him, as we said pregame. Who else but Dane Smith to get them on the board? 4-1 Toronto. Dane Smith tried it from all sides in quarter number one, and quarter number two in the early goings pays dividends. Why? Rebound Corey Small from the right point, just at the line. Now to the left point, over to Evans with a shot. Rebound Rose. That was picked up nicely. Morning on tonight, leading it 4-1, to one. top of the slot. Slade is there, looking low drive. Vince with the save. Real Small, up. just at the right place at the right time, all game long, but just can't find Twine. Yeah, Corey Small hung his head after that shot. What does he have to do? Nick Rose with a great sprawling save. Just standing there, rebound, score! Please. Buffalo earning their third straight reset, and I was just going to say that they hadn't taken advantage of second and third opportunities, and they do there, but even that comes on a rebound. They don't beat Rose clean. Shot by Evans, Rose makes a save. It scoots out front. Hogarth with a real good scoop and score. Rose reached out with his stick to try to cover that loose ball. It pulled him out of the net, and Hogarth was able to go over the top of him. 28th goal of the season for Thomas Hogarth, also a respectable 24 uh, having a stinker of a game the night before and a chance to get right back at it. 
That's the great part about doing doubles on the weekend. You can get right to it. Here comes Buffalo with an opportunity. Shot on by Kevin Brunel against. Over to Dan Craig, squeezing in, taking the shot. That bounces to the right side of Matt Vince and picked up by Buffalo. In their own end, an instance like that, Vince thinks he has the ball pinned. He didn't. He didn't know where it was. They scoop it from the behind their own crease, but it turns into a two on four because Toronto. How about that for Josh Bird? Welcome back to the NLL, Josh Bird. Transition. But what you do with that then is slow it down, get your offense on the floor, get everything set up. That's what the Bandits chose to do. Josh Byrne takes a couple steps to his left on the run, works to the slot, and just beats Rose over the shoulder. Pretty fired up after that goal, John, and rightfully so after a nine-game Schreiber couldn't make the connection. Quickly there is Bryce Sweetie. Ball intercepted by the moves of Latrell Harris. However, Bubbleo scoops up the ball, and here they come, dashing out. Nice feed pass out in front. Score! A bit afterward, I'd like to point out Bryce Sweeting's stick in the defensive zone. He's had so many opportunities where he scooped loose balls and gotten it up the floor. Unfortunately, that time as he tried to get it up the floor, Latrell Harris picked it off. But the Bandits swarmed him, got the ball loose, got it up the floor. Durston quick off the bench. That's the quick transition Buffalo's looking for. And a nice goal for Jordan Durston and a tie game here. Right, getting it back over to Schreiber. Eyeing out the situation. Goes to the far side and the twirl begins for the Rock from behind the net. Feet pass, zipped in close, and the ball saved by Matt Vince with 1.2 seconds. The rock. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Good defense by Justin Martin, taking Littner off the play. And Martin a little slow in getting up. As he turns on the speed face to face, as Harris comes in, takes the shot. Matt Vince with the save, and the rebound trickles into the near corner. Scramble for the ball continues as Harris remains down there trying to get a piece of it. Now it's picked up by loose ball. I think that might be off because Weiss has over 400 loose balls. That might be as a bandit. Face off. Oh, Soaked the flames by getting it over to Damon Edwards. In over the line. He comes with a shot. Vince with the save. The rebound picked up by Steve Priolo. The netting. A fresh 30 for Buffalo. See what they can do here. Josh Byrne from the right side. Deking in close. Here comes Byrne. Here Byrne scores! No fear to take flight from Josh Byrne. Does a great job beating his man one-on-one, -on -one, gets inside of him. But unfortunately, he was driven down almost below the goal line. But that's not a problem for him as he gets up in the air, across the crease, goes far post past Nick Rose. That's how you beat a goalie like Nick Rose. Get it around him. And a great goal from Byrne. Buffalo Boy, with his first lead of the game. I even cringed when he went up in the air and just came flat over. That went askew. Slade getting the rebound, had it the webbing of a stick, then jarred away by Ethan O'Connor. Play continues down in the bandit zone, and finally it stopped, and now a little pushing and shoving erupts with Nick Weiss. See if they have a yard sale, which we see a little bit, and why not? Let him go. Nick Weiss letting him fly. And Nick Weiss just happens to be our mic'd up guy tonight, so might hear what's going on. From doing a job on the turf tonight for the Bandits. Two shutout. Well, Score, as I say, Toronto it. very quickly, and they're back on the scoreboard after being shut out in the third quarter of play. Two shutout Johnny. quarters in a row for Matt Vince, and I couldn't even get the words out. <laughs> Paulus comes off the bench real quick, knives to the middle. That was just an instance of the Bandits not quite picking up players as they came off out the front door for the Rock. A nice goal for Palace. That's huge for Toronto. They needed that. First goal in over 30, 30 minutes of game for the Rock. Fourth equal the pressure. Game. Yeah, it was it was for, it was front to front. It wasn't from behind. It looked like a little more than equal pressure there. Could have been an illegal pick. How about a move by Dave Smith? He scores! Oh, I went to L.A. on a Greyhound. Smith the oh. cut to the middle, but let's give Dallas Bridal credit for a big, heavy pick up top that lets Dane beat the first man. Second guy slides over to him, and he beats him clean and gets a real good look on Nick Rose and is able to bury it around him. Good pick by Bridal springs him right there, and then a quick little step right around Tullet ends up in the back of the net. 
Buffalo has it for that seven minutes worth of penalties. So the Rock moved the ball nicely down to the bandit zone. Score! Tom Schreiber! And as we mentioned, the Rock win the faceoff, come down. I don't hear about maybe where a slide could have happened. Little pick there gives Schreiber just enough room to shoot. Looks like high to low. And beat Vince down low. Good pick there by Hellyer. Yeah. Gives him just enough room to sidestep to the right and beat Vince down low. Wouldn't have it any other way in a game like this, particularly in the fourth quarter. 11 yield wide over to Rogers. Now to Hellyer. He lost the ball with the webbing of his stick. Powering is Mitch Desnu, breaking free of a Rogers check. And here's Desnu all alone. Tipping it to Bruno with a shot. He scores! Forced a turnover on Hellyer. A clean pick of his stick, and he pops it the other way. Runs, outruns a check. They tried to forecheck him a little bit, and he outruns it. Takes it the length of the four, finds Brownie, who fakes high, goes low, and beats Rose. A big transition goal gives Buffalo an 8-6 lead. 57 shots on goal, Steve Bermel. To Toronto's 36. Keeping possession of the ball, ragging it down. Wow, Thomas Hogarth. <laughs> Misses the open net, no time left. That's a final tonight from Buffalo. The Bandits defeat the Toronto Rock. A huge comeback, eight to six. Yeah, John, a four nothing lead for Toronto and only two goals the rest of the way, John. Four goals in the first and then only two in the final three quarters and they both came in the fourth.